Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Sunday, February 17th. It's the sixth Sunday after the Epiphany and week six in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalms 19 and 46, John 8, verse 12 to 19, and a canticle from Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 6 through 11. The Daily Office with Brother Bill Ministry needs some volunteers to help out. If you should happen to have an interest in any aspect of video production, whether it be leading the liturgy or reading the lessons, casting, camera, lighting, set design, artwork, music, or editing, please contact me through the prayer request link at www.brotherbill.net. And let's talk about how you might become a part of this ministry. This is an ecumenical and inclusive ministry. You don't have to be any particular uh, denomination or religion. Anyone is welcome. And it's a volunteer opportunity that you can do from your own home. And join me now in singing the second verse of Songs of Thankfulness and Praise. Manifest at Jordan stream, prophet, priest, and king supreme, and at Cana wedding guest, in thy Godhead manifest, manifest in power divine, changing water into wine, Anthems be to the address, God in man made manifest. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia! The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth your handiwork. Alleluia! Psalms 19 and 46, and please recite them with me. Alleluia! The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth your handiwork. Day to day utters speech, and night to night shows knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voices are not heard. Their voices go out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. And in them God has set a tent for the sun, which like a bridegroom comes out of his chamber, and rejoices like an athlete running a race. And it goes from one end of heaven to the other, and there is nothing hid from its heat. The law of God most high is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of God is sure, making the simple wise. The statutes of God are right, giving joy to the heart. The commandment of God is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of God is clean, enduring forever. And the judgments of God are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold even than much fine gold, sweeter than honey in the comb. And moreover by them is your servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can find their own errors? Cleanse me from my secret faults. Keep me from presumptuous sins. Do not let sin have dominion over me. Then I shall be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. And let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O God Most High, my Rock and my Redeemer. Alleluia! God is our refuge and strength, our very help in times of trouble. And therefore we will not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters roar and foam, and though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. And God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God shall help her early in the morning. 
The heathen raged, and kingdoms were moved. God spoke, and the earth melted. And God most high of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel is our refuge. Come, behold the works of our God. What desolations God has made on the earth. And God makes wars to cease in all the earth. God breaks the bow and shatters the spear, and God burns the chariot with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. God most high of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel is our refuge. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth your handiwork. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 8, beginning at verse 12. Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Then the Pharisees said to him, You are testifying on your own behalf. Your testimony is not valid. And Jesus answered, Even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid, because I know where I have come from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge by human standards. I judge no one. Yet, even if I do judge, my judgment is valid, for it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is valid. I testify on my own behalf, and the Father who sent me testifies on my behalf. And then they said to him, Where is your father? And Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. He spoke these words while he was teaching in the treasury of the temple. But no one arrested him, because his hour had not yet come. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia! Seek the Most High while God may be found, and call upon God while God is near. Alleluia! A canticle of the prophet Isaiah. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, seek the Most High while God may be found. Call upon God while God is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to God. God will have mercy on them and abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Most High. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain and snow come down from heaven, watering the earth and bringing forth growth, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall they eat my word that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. We trust in the mercy of God forever. 
And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.